It's called Operation Santa Claus. Yeah, we're talking about Santa Claus here on a Daytime Ottawa. Truly a remarkable initiative. With details, we say hello to Heather Ireland, a senior manager of PR and corporate partnerships, Bluemex Canada. Hello, Heather. Hello. And we also say hello to a guy with an even longer title, uh, <laughs> Tony Virgin, senior manager of strategic partnerships with Canadian Forces Morale and Welfare Services. Very important what both of you do. Uh, Heather, can you tell us about Bluemex Canada? Absolutely. Uh, Bluemax Canada is Canada's official florist and also the largest florist in Canada. Mm -hmm. um, so we're an online platform. You go onto our website, click if you want a gift or flowers or a greeting card, um, okay. and we can send it anywhere in Canada. That's good, and that's why you're on board for this, that's especially right. with the greeting cards. And Absolutely. Tony, uh, not to be outdone, obviously Canadian Forces <laughs> Morale and Welfare Service is very important. What exactly goes on there? Canadian Forces Morale and Welfare Services is responsible for providing morale and welfare services to our military community, so military members and their families. So we provide a wide variety of services, including fitness, sport, uh, recreation. We have the Support Our Troops charity, which brings in money to support military members and their families in times of need. And then we also support all of our bases, wings, and units, and our deployed areas, which is where mm. Operation Santa Claus comes in. Taking care of lots of stuff. Absolutely. So Operation Santa Claus, let's get right into it. What exactly is this total? So Operation Santa Claus is a program where we send Christmas packages to all of our deployed men and women during the holiday season. So being deployed at the holidays can be very difficult on military families. I came from a military family myself. It's, it's not an easy time. So we try to make sure that all of our men and women know that we're thinking about them at, uh, at Christmas time by sending them an Operation Santa Claus um, package and it lets them know that uh, everybody at home is thinking of them, their families, Canadians, and uh, a few gifts and reminders of, of home at the holiday season. Mm, very important. Nice initiative. How long has this been around for? Uh, this is our 26th year. 26 yeah, started years. Started in 1992 by some military wives actually and uh, and now has morphed into a, a pretty big program with, by CFMWS. Okay, so what exactly goes into the care packages? Uh, it's a wide variety of things, mostly contributions from some of our major corporate partners. So we try to include things that have a Canadian theme and are Canadian based and then we try to include things that uh, some of our members like so you'll see some of the things here that we included last year um, we have a partnership with Dove and they've contributed some uh, some body wash and some lotion stuff that's hard to find in some of our deployed areas mm -hmm. and then we also have um, some care packages from the Legion and military partners some kind of snacks and treats from Giant Tiger and we usually try to go with a bit of a personal feel as well mm -hmm. so uh, we have a holiday card here from Microsoft last year and this is where really important partners like Bluemex come in with the greeting card campaign where we can have okay. a personal message from Canadians. All right, so here we go, Heather. Bluemex. <laughs> so, so why is uh, Bluemex so heavily involved? Obviously because of the great things you do and you know how to get greeting cards out there and make people we feel do. good. But uh, So tell, tell me why Bluemex is such a big partner in this. Um, well, we found out about Operation Santa and we just kind of thought it was a natural partnership. Um, like I said, we're Canada's official florist, so we love everything Canadian, including our troops. Mm -hmm. um, so we thought, why not personalize the boxes a little bit? You can actually put your own message and a picture and all that in yeah. these cards. So it kind of, I don't know, when the men and women overseas are, are there, it's, it's nice for them to get a personal message to let them know that we're all thinking about them of over course. here. And yeah. look at some of the beautiful greeting cards as well. So now these greeting cards in particular, now, these were these developed through Bluemex? Where, where, where were these created? We, yeah, we um, developed them with our team with uh, a very Canadian theme yeah. in mind so that the troops can get a sort of flavor back from back home. Of course. Yeah. So, so why greeting cards then? I mean, it sounds pretty simple. Everybody <laughs> loves to get a greeting card. It's pretty cost efficient. Yeah, yeah, basically. It's just nice, I think, for someone to, you know, open up a gift, but also have that message. You know, I'm thinking about you. Happy holidays. It's nice to get. Yeah, absolutely. But there is a deadline on this, Tony. So it is, I know it's, we're still in the summer here and we're talking about the Christmas season, <laughs> but, I mean, there's a deadline. And, and there's a reason why there's a deadline to get these cards in. Yeah, absolutely. The deadline is August 7th, and the reason for that really just comes down to the long um, process that we undergo when we send the packages overseas. So there's uh, about 30 deployed missions that we send packages to. Um, some of them are very remote, very difficult to get to, and it's a lengthy process that starts in October that actually, um, in terms of uh, the packages being delivered to the area. So we have to have everything done by August, typically most years, so that we can have all of our packages packaged up, um, all of our messages included, and then sent to the deployed areas in time for the holiday season. We don't okay. want anyone getting a card too late. No. So, so Heather, how does it work exactly then? So, so people, can they, they create their own greeting cards or do they have to go to the Bluemax website to create cards? So our, uh, the link to uh, the card creation site can be found on our Facebook page or our Instagram page or our Twitter page. Um, people just go to that link 
and all of these are listed. You can just click, choose the design you want, and then write whatever you want. Mm -hmm. um, you can put a picture there. Or we've got all these different backgrounds. You click save. Yeah, we'll and get you to hold that up nice and still oh, so we can even sorry. read that in there. Sorry. <laughs> Open it up for us. Ooh. Wonderful. Look at that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, and then once you're done and it's exactly the way you want it, you click save and it goes overseas. All right, so bluemex.c is the place to go to, supportourtroops.c, of course, for all the amazing things that you do. Uh, and the deadline is August 7th for yes. this. All right, <laughs> Santa Claus will be happy for sure and so will so many of our troops. We appreciate your time here today. Thank you. Awesome. Thank so. you very much. And of course, more daytime coming up on Rogers Television.